This is part three in the series of plotting vapor liquid equilibria. In the first part, we explored the visualization options available to us to analyze binary phase behavior, specifically looking at the homogeneous azeotrope between isopropanol and water. In part two, we use the plot options to diagnose a mistake I made in making my K value specification under the thermophysical menu. In part three, we explore looking at plotting ternary phase behavior. In this case, I want to explore the impact of a trace component on the isopropanol benzene phase behavior. So first, plotting it as a binary at constant pressure of 20 psi, looking only at the xy plot, I arrive at a classic homogeneous azeotrope. With the azeotrope composition approximately 45 percent isopropanol. I can look at the impact of having a slight amount of water available in the liquid phase by using an option in ChemCAD to specify the third component. In this case, the primary components are isopropanol and benzene, and I'm going to mandate that the liquid phase is 5% water. This plot is made on a water-free basis, so consequently we can see that the azeotrope analyzing only isopropanol and benzene has markedly shift with a small amount of water. With no water, the azeotrope is at 45 percent. With 5 percent water, the azeotrope is shifted to nominally 37 percent. I can infer two conclusions from this. First, the phase equilibria of this ternary is extremely complex. Homogeneous azeotrope between isopropanol and benzene, homogeneous azeotrope between isopropanol and water, heterogeneous azeotrope between benzene and water. The second thing I can conclude is that if I can design a system that maintains 5% water in the liquid phase on the distillation trays, I should be able to break the isopropanol benzene azeotrope producing pure isopropanol in one column, pure benzene in the other column, and azeotrope overhead. I can look at this a little deeper and have 10 percent water again on a water-free basis and note that going from 5 percent to 10 percent did not really change the impact on the azeotrope. Consequently if I were designing a column assuming pure isopropanol and benzene a small amount of water would have a marked impact on the overall performance but a little larger impact of water has none. This indicates that there are boundaries beyond which I cannot distill in this ternary system. That's covered in part four. For this case, in order to do a ternary plot, plot TPXY, choose the primary components, choose the trace component, select its composition in the liquid phase, decide whether you're going to plot the actual composition or plot on a third component free basis, in this case water free basis, choose your output and plot.
This tip showed you how to plot ternary vapor liquid equilibria. Thank you for using ChemCAD. For more tips, please visit chemstations.com. My name is Chip Howitt.